manage our UI clicking events. Um, there's something I don't like about this um, call input mouse source. Well, I do like it, but it doesn't really interact very well um, with having like a UI that has, to, has like a tool assigned to it. Um, so what I want to do, I do like the fact that it has a tool. I like the way this mouse input source works, but what we need to do is we need to, I'm actually going to kind of redesign a little bit how we do our display and sort of inject it into there. Um, I didn't want to put it straight into the display node because um, I want to make this really generic and I can just like swap out framework. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert one here, which is, this is specific to this framework. I'm going to call this um, interactive display. And that's going to be an interface. In fact, I'm going to put this down here. So, oops, still not where I wanted. Here. So, interactive display will extend, oops, extend ah, uh, display node. And so that um, we can assume that it's an interactive display. Now, here under the ka, trying to decide, it's not really ka specific either, but it is this implementation specific. So we're going to create a hacks class here that's going to be a two dimensional interactive display. The downside touch. Let's draw. So the downside is that this extends extends it. Ah, my mouth is being awful again. Awful be awful. Okay, so um, yeah, I think we're gonna do two-dimensional display node or two-dimensional gosh uh, interactive display, and then. we can deal with the container separately. Extends display node, two-dimensional display node, implements interactive display. Okay, so now I'm going to say um, function register mouse event and we're going to need the we have everything we need we just need a handler which is going to be a I think we have it at input as pointer event Um, void. And now we just need function unregister mouse event um, pointer event. And that's not fully true. We'll need our type. And that mouse either is going to be a pointer. So we can do touch. So type will be let's see here. The downside to 
<laughs> oh, sweet. Okay, so. Um, we have this, which is pretty good. Pointing tool. Okay, so we have the interactive display, two-dimensional interactive display, interactive display. Um, we need input types. Input type. And we're going to have uh, Click, right click. I think this is, yeah, right click and um, pointer. Um, let's see here, pointer. One down, enter one up, pointer uh, one click, which means like down up. Uh, we're gonna need pointer one move, and then we need this to. Three, I suppose, and zoom, maybe. Like this may not even exist. Pointer three. I'm trying to think if there's ever a case where we have three pointers. Probably not. You have your touchpad, one, two, maybe three fingers. Maybe. Mm. Stick with it. So this is a lot more generic. I like that. Okay, and so we're going to say pointer event or input type. That's not totally true. I'm going to go here and say pointer event type. Okay. Pointer event type. So pointer event type. And so that's that. So I think that'll do the trick. And now we need something to manage the interactivity. So let's see here. We can put this here. Okay. Oh, that's not fully correct either. We're going to do a void match. There we go. There we go. So now we have our interactive display that we can as an interface, and now we have our implementation we can play with. What is wrong here? And it dispose, pretty sure it does. It does. So you, you can just quiet down on that one. So now, just one, uh, yeah. So 
so now let's look at this. We want to set the. I can actually run an inject on this one, which is a little dangerous. And I'll have um, pointer event manager, pointer event manager. We could as easily just do this. And create a class. Pointer event manager and that's sort of ready. So what is our pointer event manager going to do? So it's going to be very very much the same as this. So and this will probably go away. So what we're going to do is we're going to say function uh, register event. We'll take the display, display node, the type, ah, type, which should be pointer event I thought we had a type of this. Input point event type should be renamed to pointer event type. Okay, and then handler, which is going to be void um, pointer event. Nope, it's backward. <laughs> Void. Okay. And then we need um, unregister and then actually Uh, we can say function function event move. So we need to make sure that when the display moves, we need to update this. So we'll say like update event display display node. display location so that we need to know that our registry is in a different spot. So um, granny meow. I think that's all that we need. Okay, so We yeah, have the point, pointer, pointer, right. pointer event manager. And so create a new class and say, um, Display pointer event manager implements pointer event manager. Okay, so now we've got that in play. This needs to extend base object and 
we're in our regular business. Let's write this up. And this is going to be pointer event void and pointer event void. Okay. Pointer event. So there we have it. So now, a couple things we need to do is we need to track the event display location. The problem we have is it has everything to do with their location, which I think we'll know. Let's see here. It actually might be very specific to Ka. doesn't appear to matter. Let's look at our renderer. I think our renderer actually, yeah, so our renderer is a smart one. So our renderer has this concept of parents and children. So we're going to have to really manage that. As well. So now we're going to change this to com and we're going to move that to here. Which is, ah, can you believe it? So there we go. And this is sort of designed out, so I'm actually kind of feeling better about it compared to yesterday. So we're going to do hexlib run, ooh, menu and manager. So we'll get rid of that. I don't think we're going to really use that. Oops. Don't want to delete that. I'm just going to get rid of it now. Let's keep my mind off of it. So hexlib run in unit create um, input ka ka pointer event manager test. So now ka pointer event manager test. What the heck? Hello? That's what I thought. Um Go. And there's this. We don't need our new. Oops. There we go. So, here we I call this the um, event manager, call pointer event manager. And I believe we're going to need a subscriber. That'll be useful. And so I'm going to say event manager equals new pointer uh, event manager. Manager init um, and a 
inject the object creator and object creator equals mod object creator and subscriber equals new net subscriber subscriber init object creator create instance of mapped subscriber and that will return um, returns uh, the subscriber. Okay. Test should register event on display mode. So we're going to say event manager register event record our display. So we're going to say our display display node okay. Mock display container mock display container display and we're going to give it a type which would be um, pointer event pointer event type and it's going to be down and our handler is going to be our uh, pointer one down, and one down. handler pointer event void function event pointer event void there we go. Now I say pointer down handler. F pointer one down down handler event pointer. Simplified that. Now we can do subscriber Is all that stuff hidden? subscriptions exists. We need a string. It is true. Constants. Pointer event types. I like static inline r pointer one. Pointer one up. And I think we see here. No, need that open. Pointer event type. It's all of these. Okay, so. Down, up, click move. Down, up, click, move. 
So we have these in place. Two, 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 two. There we go. All right, so. That won't open anymore. Don't need that. So it exists. This would be uh, pointer event types pointer one down. Kind of a bummer there. I wonder, let's do this, pointer event types down to equal to pointer event type down as a string. search are equal. So here, line 37, and then two dimensional interactive display and saying super. And car pointer event manager test is missing the mouse wheel. Car mouse input source test. There we go. Seventy. Car mouse input source. Seventy. And hopefully that'll be in, in place. And that's clever. So if we do, this could save us some effort here. So say pointer one. I guess it totally doesn't matter as long as it's consistent. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so we're gonna get rid of this, and then um, let's say pointer event type of the string. There we go. So register events. We need to do a couple of injections here. Object creator and our subscriber app subscriber. We use that a lot. That sounds map subscriber. 
sub spider. So there's that piece. Object, uh, sorry, event manager, uh, event manager, object creator equals object creator. And so now, very simply, we do subscriber, subscribe, uh, the event will be type as a string, and the handler will be handler, and that'll do that. So, should have a passing test there. Hunter event types. So that should pass there. Test should match register event if um, any argument is null. to do is false. So we're going to say I'm going to need this. So here we have the display map that and if we have this this and lastly we have this and not this. So that should for all those cases if display is equal to null or type is equal to null or handler equal to null Go. Perfect. All right, so now Okay, so we got those in place. As should n register event. So we do this one, and then we're going to say event manager and register event display pointer event type pointer one down pointer match and assert is false subscriber subscriptions exists pointer event type pointer one down that That should be pretty quick here. We're missing a semicolon because L's are not semicolons. Subscriber, oops. Subscriber, unsubscribe, type, handler. There we go. So, one thing we have here is 
probably going to need to map the display to a to some sort of other map. So it's going to be like a map of map subscribers. That is likely the row we're going to have to enter through. Um, I want to check here the car pointer event manager here. Input car pointer event manager test. Okay, so. I think I wonder if this init is test should init with object pair should init event manager init R equal object trainer event manager object trainer subscriber subscriber Let's see if that'll be what we're missing. Input no. Point manager. I wonder what is missing. Probably the dispose. Test. Should dispose. Event manager. Dispose. Assert is null. Event manager. Object creator. Input, what the heck? What is left? Manager, subscriber, verify. Oh, it's probably this update display location. There we go. Pretty decent test coverage. So that's it for today. We're going to continue this on tomorrow. I think we're on the right track here. 
And so we're going to need to do something very similar to our renderer so we can figure out the location of these guys and their, um, their nesting. So that's it for today. Happy coding. See you guys tomorrow.